Hello and welcome my friend and next I am planning to show you that how we can adjust our Toyota cars this valve clearance and now I have take away this my Toyota engines this cylinder head and that area in here this is this cylinder head it starts in here and it ends in here and then we can also see that in that area we have this uh, big camshaft this wheel and this uh, sprocket and I have also take this out and there is only one bolt in here and it looks like that this bolt looks like that and then there is this feel and remember to install that feel in just in same position back and, and be carefully with this part and do not drop this in the ground like as as I did and, and now I drop it again sorry but now I can drop this because this is like extra cylinder head and I don't need now this uh, cylinder head because I have I have a better one cylinder head but let's go to forward and then there is idea that we need to take these uh, camshafts away when we are adjusting this our valve clearance and this valve clearance means that that if if we measure we need this small tool what we install now I have already take these camshaft bearings away there is that kind of bolts I have opened this and there's one one two three four five those bearing these uh, covers now I take those away that we can look this closer and now this camshaft is free and I can lift that out and normally when we are planning to check this valve clearance we insert this specific valve clearance tool between this part and then that oppos opposite this other part what is this uh, valve pressing pad area what is in here that area and we measure that how big is this gap between this metallic plate and then that plate in here when this camshaft is in that position that this upper part this camshaft head is like up look this is this head head area and this is this measurement area and we measure in that position this uh, a valve clearance and va valve this gap okay and now I have noticed that in this my cylinder head area in that area there is two big this gap and this gap means like like this is like that how big is this uh, area in here now this is like example that there should be in so big gap but normally it is so thin then it is like uh, 0 0.01 millimeter is this gap something like that and then I need to take this my valve gap away and in that position we have to take that very carefully I have in here this sharp sharp spike this tool and I insert that my tool in like in in this let's look when I took some of those away I take also this this another cam shaft away and there are similar caps and this is like idea when I insert that in here and I carefully I carefully lift this up this can be difficult to take out but like in here I can rotate that I insert a little bit different view and when I rotate that in here 
And that way I can lift this up. But they can be a little bit difficult and that's we need some, some tongs. And in that part, when I have tongs, we, we have to lift these parts really carefully. We can actually insert some cotton cloth in here, in that position, that we don't damage this cap, because it is so sensitive part, in that way, look. And, and this part must be really clean and no any scratches in here. And now I have take this one cap away, and then when we look in here inner, there is this valve, spring, and this part goes down, and then those valves moves. And I can actually a little bit rotate that my, my cylinder head, that we can see that where are those valves, and they are in here. Here we can see that there are those valves. They are in there. So now we can see that there are valves in there. And this part press in that part, what is in the central, it pressed these valves like out, that they came out. Okay. And then we look that again, and then this is the most important thing. What I can do, if I notice that, like this valve in here, this like example, that there is too big this gap between in, in that metallic part in here, and then when we compare this part. Just now when they are taking contact, there is actually, they don't take contact. If they take that kind of direct contact, it is bad, but there is normally really small, so thin this cap that our hair, hair can go through that. It is so small. Something like that. And we look in, in there, there is so small, now I demonstrate that, very thin, it is, it is not touching that in this way, but there is so small gap between this part and that part, that air can go through. And, and then, when this car became old, this gap became bigger in that way. This is like demonstration. And that's we need to adjust this gap. And how it happens? This is really interesting. There is situation that now I move that little bit this cylinder head that we can look that part. When we have this Toyota car, now remember, this is this is only Toyota's great ideas, and of course Toyota they have made. Uh, those thousand and thousand ideas, but this is one of those that how I can adjust this my cap clearance I need again that kind of sharp look this is like sharp I can do in here these holes and now I can now I have to take this cover that part out and when I insert that my cap this part in here and carefully then I carefully start to move that in this direction. This part should open. And this first part moves. And let's look. And carefully that... Okay, now I drop it again. And there is this plate. And this plate, this is really, really professional, this really professional engineering. And then when we look that closer, this is like, this part is just specific, this adjusting plate, look that area. It goes in directly in that, this up area, and and we can see that this part goes like in in here down, 
and this is this position, and there is no any tolerance. It goes so tight in there. And this part, and I take that again away, this is this adjusting plate. This is this full trick. Can you believe? This is like coin, like one dollar, this US coin, and the idea is that when we need to adjust this our valve clearance, we need to change these plates. And we, and we can get these plates only in this Toyota dealership center. And they have these plates, if I remember right, right, they have these maybe 20 to 40 different thickness. And then, of course, how I can measure this thickness? We, we need now measurement tool, and here is one of our tools, but this is maybe too, too hard. It, this is not enough accurate, but let's check that when I check, there we can see maybe some amount, but, but the better way is that we use this micro, micrometer, that kind of tool, uh, because this is more accurate, and let's check this plate's this thickness, and first I need to clean that plate using my cotton cloth, in that way, and this is my, must be really shiny, and then I need to take this my measurement tool, and this tool measures everything, uh, and this occurrence is 0.01 millimeter, and it is quite accurate. And then I insert that my this adjusting plate in between in here, and then when I rotate that, and when I rotate that thickness, now I can see this thickness. I use that head. And then I lock that, and then we lock this amount, and this amount is now, these are in here millimeters, and it is like one, one, two millimeters, and then in here, in this down area, we have those five, zero point, like half, two point five, and then this, I have to add this number in here. It is like 2.55 is this thickness. And I write this amount in this table. This thickness is now, there's my pencil, 2.55 millimeter. 2. 5, 5 millimeter. And that means that that if I I measure it again and now now you can also look now it is a little bit different but there is this my scale. Let's look more accurate picture. And when we look this scale in here we can see that there is one, two, one, two full lines, and then now it's actually now there is this this three one, two, three is this like, and then this part. Okay, this, now I think that this thickness is like 3 millimeters. Okay, and that means that now I measure, measure it wrong, and let's look. And it is the central area, this area. And this is good to notice that, that now I measure, because it, it has been worn out, yes. Okay. But now I can get similar amount, and that means that now there is three millimeters, and there are a couple of those. Yes, I made mistake. 
I fry it again. This is like three millimeters and then there's one, two, three, zero point three milli millimeters. Okay, and now that means that this my adjusting chin plate is like three point zero three millimeters and if I need like that there is this cap adjusting is like like too big it is like like 0 0.2 millimeters this too much adjusting cap like that way that I when I have measured that there is too much too much extra that means that now I need to go to purchase this adjusting plate in Toyota dealership center for this thickness that thickness is 3.23 millimeter and there is also millimeter okay and that that way and, and this is this is like my adjusting when I am going to purchase new adjusting this plate I need to only go in the nearest Toyota dealership center like in in California what is in in this Santa Rosa area or in San Francisco area and I, I can say that hey now I need in my Toyota Corolla and this year model and engine size what is 1.8 liter engine that please give me one adjusting plate in this in this uh, intake sorry this was exhaust that area is in in here exhaust manifold area and this adjusting plate must be a little bit thicker than that one and it must be in that size for this 3.2 millimeter and then they will order and give to us new this adjusting plate what is little bit thicker and then our engines this valve clearance is okay and also this engine valve valve uh, this cap what is this tapping and this heating sound is away okay and, and Toyota will deliver this and I, I remember that this plate price is if I estimate something like five to ten US dollar per piece and of course if we have this uh, these old plates we can use this but new one is also better and look that this is really accurate plate and this is so hard tolerances that if we insert in here some coin like some one dollar coin in here then it is catastrophe because this is so tight this place it goes in that way okay back okay that kind of interesting information and and have a nice day to you and see you in next movie